Okay, now we're going to show you how to use this handy dandy calculator and stopwatch. Now, when Lola started reading, I hit start time. And when she finished reading, I hit end time. Now, my next step is to go ahead and I'm going to hit words read or read words. And I can find that on the book. I can also find it on my score sheet right here. That's how many words that she read out loud orally. There's also something really handy to note here. This says E15. This tells me right away, if I'm listening to Lola read out loud and she right away makes 15 errors, I know immediately to stop because then that means that's her frustration level and I would probably go down another level. That's very helpful for me because if I was giving her this without doing a where to start word test, um, I could go ahead and immediately um, get another level to help me figure out what her reading ability would be. Going back to the calculator, I would go ahead and put the words that she read aloud were 255 words. Okay. And then I would hit the number of errors. Remember back on her test, she did a total of six errors. Okay. And then the number of self-correction, she had three. Okay. And now what we'll do is after that's all been put in, we can go ahead and hit her accuracy. And that's where it comes at 97.6 or 98%. Okay. Her words per minute is 119 or 120 words per minute, and I can note that on my form. And the last thing I can go ahead is I can find out her self-correction rate, which is a 1 to 3. And you can note that on the page as well where it says right here on the self-correction part. She's make for every one word, one to three. Self-correction rate. Okay, so very handy to have this calculator to help me um, figure out. If I don't have the calculator, um, it does have on the form exactly how to take care of it manually.